Sam, it's time to move ahead with vertical subtraction. I hope you remember all that we covered in vertical subtraction so far. Of course, Miss R. Vertical subtraction is a subtraction technique in which numbers to be subtracted are written one under the other and place value is used for subtraction. If we have to solve 77 minus 53, step 1 would be to write the first number 77 and we write the second number 53 in this case under it. Step 2 is to write the minus sign which is the symbol of subtraction before the second number and mark the area for answer. Step 3 is to start the subtraction from the 1's place. 7 minus 3 is 4. So 4 is the 1's place answer. Step 4 is to move to the 10's place. 7 minus 5 is 2, which is the 10's place answer. So the complete answer of 77 minus 53 is 24. Excellent! This R, in the last class, we had not answered the question, what do we do if a digit of the first number is smaller than the same place digit of the second number? You had said that we would see that in the next class. That's right, Sam. In such cases, we need to do some borrowing before we can subtract the digits. And let's understand this with an example. Suppose we have to solve 96 minus 57. So we write the two numbers according to place value, write the minus sign and mark the area for answers. And then, as always, we start from the ones place. Here we have 6 minus 7, but 6 is less than 7. Now if the digit of the first number is smaller than the digit of the second number, then we will make it bigger by borrowing 1 from the digit in the place before it. If we borrow 1 from 9, then 9 minus 1, which is 8, will remain there. So, after borrowing 1 from 10's place, will 6 become 7 as 6 plus 1 equals 7? Now, Sam, don't you remember 1 in 10's place is equal to 10 in 1's place? So, when we borrow 1 from 10's place, the 1's place gets 10 more and not 1 more. So, 1's digit is now 10 plus 6, which is 16. Correct, Sam. Now, let's continue with the subtraction. In 1's place, we now have 16 minus 7, which is 9. So, that is the 1's digit answer. Now, we move to the 10's digit. Here, we now have 8 minus 5, which is 3. Correct. So, 3 is the 10th digit of the answer. And 96 minus 57 is 39. Yes. Why don't you try one? Solve 61 minus 18. Sure. We first write the first number, then the second number under it using place value. Then we write the minus sign before the second number and mark the area for answers. Starting from the 1's place, we have 1 minus 8. But 1 is smaller than 8, so we will borrow 1 from the tens place where we have 6. So when 6 gives up 1, we will have 5 left there. And the 1's place will actually get 10. And now in 1's place we have 11 minus 8, which is 3. Then we move to the tens place and here we have 5 minus 1, which is 4. This means that 61 minus 18 is 43. Very good, Sam. Miss R, can we try a three-digit number, please? Yes, Sam. We will do that very soon in the next lesson. Until then, keep practicing. Please like, share and subscribe.